Hey there YouTube, it's Skew2000 again. Um, I'm excited because again, it's one of those nice days. I think I do, I do this kind of on a yearly basis almost. To go out and shoot some slingshots and just kind of show you some of the new ones that I have and talk about pros and cons and whatever else. If you've seen any of my slingshot videos, they're all pretty much the same at this point. So today we're gonna be looking at uh, Wasp Unifox. This is the satin, um, version so a little bit a um, little bit more expensive than the original unifox which is just plastic or kind of this clear plastic this one has the black badge on it and, and it's more of a satin type finish i'm going to look at the fowler hornet this is one of those ones that i've, I've been wanting for a long time um, and it, they just became restocked um, so it, it, it's a good slingshot as well and then by far the most excited I've been about a slingshot is this guy, the uh, Sniper Sling S Robin Through the Fork. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot at my little uh, steel plate target. I could probably try to swing it around, just show you guys. It's just right out there. I usually shoot for the top one. I do have another little uh, spinner, like a two or three inch spinner that's hanging up on the wire out there. Uh, but you can't hear it as well if I, I hit it. So I think um, hitting the steel target is a little bit better. Um, so the first one I, I got recently is the, the Wasp Unifox. I've, I've had the Unifox before. In fact, I did a review video on kind of the standard Unifox. Um, I really liked it, ended up selling it, and I um, later bought another great slingshot, which I have a little review video on, the Unifox G10 Target Master. Amazing slingshot. Um, only downside is it's not quite as versatile as the traditional Wasp uh, Unifox, um, because it doesn't have clips, so you have to tie on the bands, you have um, only over-the-top configuration. And so I just decided I want to get back into the Wasp Unifox. And I've been, again, really happy with this. This is generally the one that I carry around with me whenever I'm just going anywhere. I just leave it in my pocket. It's so thin and so easy to uh, pop in there. But it's just a great slingshot. And again, I do like um, shooting through the fork. Um, I, I've really, it's just my, my favorite style. I mean, over the top works fine. I can hit targets with over the top but I just kind of prefer through the fork. So having the Unifox and able to quickly, you know, switch it to whatever uh, shooting style I like, um, I think that's, that's a great add-on. And it doesn't add on too much weight. Um, for instance, the, <clears throat> uh, I can get it kind of attached here. The Simple Shot, um, the Simple Shot Scout LT, another great, really versatile thing, uh, versatile frame. It does have the, the flip clips, which again, allow you to shoot through the fork or, or whatever, uh, but they're a little bit big and heavy, right? You know, it's a bolt in there. And so often to kind of counter the, the balance of it, you have to put a weight in um, the handle in order to get it right. The Unifox, um, again, the flip clips are so thin um, and, and everything that it's just, it's a great all around slingshot. Um, I could shoot it all day. Again, I like to carry it with me all the time. Um, a little bit expensive, again, because you, you can only buy them from England, so you have to pay um, you know, conversion fees for, from pounds to two dollars, and you have to pay about uh, you know, 15, 20 dollars in shipping. So it comes out to about 60 dollars. Um, if we were in England, it would be a, a, certainly a lot cheaper. Um, but it, it's great, and, and there's a few features that I've really come to like about it. So one, I, I like, um, I, I've become accustomed to the frame brace grip so when you're holding a slingshot putting your thumb on the frame and i really do like the pinky hole you know being able to kind of slip your pinky in there uh, makes it really nice and stable for me a uh, great frame uh, just for all sorts of general shooting i mean I, i've seen people actually use these for hunting before so um I, I, this one i'm not going to sell uh, I, I sold the last one just because i was getting kind of tired and bored with it uh, but then I realized that I actually really do like it, so it's gonna gonna stick with me. Uh, the next slingshot is the Fowler Hornet. Um, this was the first, 
I think, production slingshot that Zach Fowler came out with. Um, he has a Sparrow too. I have a couple of the Sparrows. Um, these are really great for uh, just learning sort of basic fundamentals, like learning how to tie on your bands and whatever. Um, the Hornet was one built from a ski or, or designed after one that he built from a ski. And it's kind of a fun slingshot. Again, it's really thin. Um, I keep noticing after I shoot the, the Unifox that I'm always looking for that pinky hole. So whenever I grab the Fowler, I'm kind of like, ah, I'm trying to fit it in there, but I can't. Um, you are limited to only over the top and you do have to tie on your bands. There's no quick clip attachment. And some of the early versions of this actually had um, holes drilled into here. So you could actually put on like quickly put on tubes if you wanted. Um, they've since changed it. So um, that's all you get. And this is a good, again, kind of general slingshot. Um, and I missed. Um, I'm not as familiar with it, but uh, I, I do like it. And I've been putting on all my slingshots recently, I've been putting the uh, Simple Shot Black. There we go. Uh, the Simple Shot Black Premium Latex. Um, I think I'm shooting uh, 0.6 millimeter. Um, and that seems to do really well for these little uh, 3 8 clay balls that I have. Um, but in general, again, this is a nice, fun slingshot. Uh, it's relatively cheap, too. I mean, you can get it on Fowler's website. Um, I think they were, he partnered with Beast Coast Slingshots to make this one. And again, it's fun. And a lot of colors. Um, fairly easy and pocketable. So um, I, there's really not much else to say. I mean, it's plastic. I, I do like the fact that they put little pieces of rubber, kind of like grip tape, on here makes it a little bit easier to hold or it kind of gives you an idea of where to do it. Again, I'm kind of limited to that frame brace grip, but that's not too much of a problem because as my shooting style has been progressing, uh, I've been continuing to experiment with frame brace grip and I've become actually comfortable with it. Uh, again, I do like it because it keeps your wrist in a nice neutral plane. Um, and, and again, it's a fun slingshot. Um, but the one I really wanted to talk about, save the best for last, uh, I got this one yesterday, I think. I've shot it a few times. Um, the Sniper Sling S Robin. I haven't seen a lot of reviews around there on this one, uh, but it's it's fantastic. I mean, for a long time, I was saying that the, the Target Master or the, the Scout LT were kind of my top slingshots. Um, this one took the cake. Um, not just because it was expensive, it was, I think it was about $118. Uh, but just everything about it, like it, it's just, it, it's handmade. Um, you can get customized options. I chose not to. Um, and uh, I, I don't know why I didn't do that. I just, you know, I guess I wanted the slingshot so badly, but it turned out that it actually works perfectly fine for me. I mean, it, it fits, it's the best feeling slingshot I think I've ever owned. Uh, the contours and everything about it are just spot on. Um, you can see the materials are just, Outstanding. Uh, this is a nice, uh, I don't know if it's layered G10, but it is G10 for most of the frame. Um, they have carbon fiber clips and then kind of the double um, Allen key uh, attachment system. Um, it's just great. Uh, everything, like even down to the, the, the lanyard bead that came with it. I just love it. It feels so good in my hand. Um, one thing I, I, I didn't actually expect to see is that they did put a little uh, integrated fiber optic sight. Um, again, it's not as versatile. You can't switch to over the top um, like you can with the Unifox or the Scout LT. Uh, they do have a S Robin that is over the top. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you have to buy it separately. If that's what you wanted. Uh, yeah, it's, just, it's such a fun slingshot. And I've been you know, practicing with um, anchor, anchor points. Um, that's one of the things I like about through the fork shooting is that when you get it on, um, get your anchor point on, um, you really just have to look down the band and, and obviously they put the, uh, uh, fiber optic right in the center of the band. So it makes it a lot easier to get, get really on target. Um, the one thing that I have to kind of work with and experiment with when I'm shooting is if I'm going between clay and steel, um, you do have to kind of change your anchor point. So usually I anchor on my zygomatic bone. If I were doing uh, steel, I'd probably have to anchor a little bit higher um, on, on my face because the steel will um, not, not fly as high as, as the lighter ammo. Um, but everything about it, again, is just perfect. Um, it, it is hands down my favorite slingshot.
It was pricey. It was, uh, like I think I said already, um, $118. Um, and it took a little while to get here, right? So, I mean, it took about, uh, I think I ordered it on February 12th and it got here yesterday. So about a month. I mean, it's not too bad considering it, it's flying from, um, from China, I think. Um, and I don't know, I just, I have nothing but good things to say. I'm going to go for my spinner target and I missed. Um, and again, the contour is great. Now, the one thing I do like about Sniper Sling is uh, they, they do have customization options. So if you're looking at the measurements um, and you think your hand might be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, um, you can actually request, I don't know if it costs any additional amount, but um, you can request to have um, the, the size more fit to your hand. But for me, the standard one, and I wear an extra large glove size, not that I have like meaty hands or anything, but I just have really long gangly fingers. Um, the XL or my XL glove size, again, fit perfect on, on this slingshot. So nothing but good things about the, the sniper sling slingshots. Um, and another kind of cool thing, and I noticed this with some of my GZK slingshots, um, they send you a lot of cool stuff with it. So uh, let me go into my grab bag here. So they sent, um, they sent a, a little spinner. That's gonna go up and maybe hang it up and try to see what we can do with it. It's a little one inch spinner. Um, so that's gonna be really hard to shoot it at the uh, distance that I have, but it has the spinner with all the connection stuff that came with it. I got this really kind of cool, um, I guess it's just a, a pin, a sniper sling pin. It comes in like actually like a display case, which is, makes me feel really fancy about it. Um, and then also they sent a, uh, one of those little steel ammo um, finger holders. So it has a little neodymium magnet on there and you can just kind of hold your, your slingshot ammo with you in your hand so you can kind of quickly get to it instead of digging around in your pockets like I do almost all the time. Um, so it's kind of nice with that. And I know when I ordered from GZK, um, they sent kind of a, a nice little grab bag too. Oh, and they also sent a, a little pouch for the slingshot itself. Um, so uh, my thoughts on slingshots are, are ever changing. Um, I think for a long time, I was a huge fan of the Scout LT. Um, and then it kind of moved to the Wasp Unifox. And I know everybody says, you know, it's not the, uh, the, the frame, um, it's, it's the shooter that d determines accuracy. Um, and, and there's definitely something to say to that, but in also some respects, like you know, having a slingshot that just really fits your hand really well. Um, and like you, you pull it out and you just enjoy shooting, you enjoy holding it. Um, I think that plays a big role into accuracy as well. So, um, when I put, when I first, my first three shots were at my little spinner target, um, it's probably like 12 to 15 yards out there. Um, and I just hit all three of them in a row. And it's like, I was just blown away by, by the craftsmanship of the slingshot. Um, so check out Sniper Sling. Um, they have a lot of, of other types of slingshots out there too. All of them are, again, are, I think they're all handmade. Um, they're all beautiful work. Um, and it, I don't know if this would qualify as a custom, um, but it's pretty dang close to a custom. You know, it's, it wasn't made specifically for me and they, they, they do have, um, you know, other versions of the S-Robin out there, but again, all handmade, um, fantastic. So uh, I think that's all I have. I'm just going to sit out here and shoot some more shots and have some fun. So, uh, take it easy and thanks for watching.